Hi guys. Okay, so today we're going to be working with absolute value. Um, still recovering from, I'm starting to think maybe it's just a mild case of the stomach flu, but we'll see. Anyway, absolute value is pretty simple, so this is just going to be a short video. Um, I'm going to be working with out my face on the screen because I thought it might be easier to explain if I had a number line. All right, so absolute value. I'm sure you used to see in these two vertical lines that represent x absolute value, such as what is the absolute value of x? Well, the absolute value of any number is the equal to its distance away from zero, or the origin, on a number line. But what does that mean when we talk about the distance from zero, or the origin? Well, essentially, we're just talking about how far away it is from zero. It's really pretty simple. So, take this example right here x equals negative 3, right? So, the absolute, of absolute value of x then would be 3, since negative 3 is 3 units away from 0 on the number line. Because the distance of negative 3 from 0, or the origin, is 3 units, the absolute value of x is 3. Okay, so if this doesn't make sense to you, all you really have to be able to do is count from your number to zero on the number line. Now, the absolute value of any number is always positive, whether the number itself is positive or negative, because the distance of something from another thing is always going to be positive. You're never going to be a negative distance from something, right? So a number is always going to be a positive distance from something on the number line, and that's absolute value. So variables expressed in terms of absolute value can seem really tricky, but they're simple if you think of them in terms of number lines, which is something you're definitely going to want to do on the GRE. Okay, so think of the expression the absolute value of x is equal to 4. Simply put, x is equal to whatever spot is 4 units away from 0 on the number line. There are two spots in the number line that fulfill this requirement, as I'm about to show you. Now probably you're thinking ahead and you already get this, right? The first one would be 4. 4 is 4 units away from the origin 0 on the number line. 1, 2, 3, 4. So x could be equal to 4. The second one is negative 4, which is also 4 units away from 0 on the, the number line. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, number, negative 4. So the absolute value of x could also be equal or the, to negative 4, right? So, because absolute value means distance from origin, the absolute value of a variable can be either positive or negative. Alright, so thank you for listening to my explanation of absolute values. I hope you understand them better now, or you just consolidated which information you already had on the subject. Um, next time I'm going to be talking about division and multiplication, just doing a quick overview before we get into the more serious stuff on the GRE and math. And I hope if you enjoy these, you can go visit my website, grechicks.com. We have a blog. We have a lot of information. And we also talk about philosophy, since me and my friends who work on it are both philosophy majors, and we're really interested in philosophy. All right. Have a great day. Thank you.